So this kind of starts off as normal Minecraft, but, but it's not anything but. Oh, that's a dwarf. Okay, see, he seems... Uh, oh, it's not a dwarf. Who's that? Hi. It's a wi uh, Hey! Wizard, you just invaded my home, bro. Wow, you're shooting something at me. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome to Vex Super Hostile Mod Pack. It is now officially available. Released, uh, well, a little while ago, but we did test this a couple months ago. Maybe two, three, four, five, six months, something like that. I don't remember. Time flies when you're having fun in a pandemic. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, this is Vex new mod pack um, based on the super hostile um, series of maps that Vex has been making over the years. He was the inventor of the Capture the Monument maps back in the day. And basically, when it comes to Vex, don't trust anything. Not even that bunny right there. I mean, he looks cute and cuddly, but he's probably a murderous fiend. <laughs> and we got something over here, too. She looks nice, I guess. It's like a Valkyrie, maybe? Anyway, so this mod pack is... Uh, it's got 114 mods, I think, in it. At the time of this recording, anyway. And my guess is 114 mods designed to make your life miserable. Or at least challenge you to the fullest um so let's get started we don't have a lot of time to waste i can see my breath already here we're in a cold biome so this does have the toughest nails uh mod installed we have to think about that and fresh water and eating and etc so this is the our first quest guide it gives us all the information here to get started and vax is even being a pretty nice guy which is rare very rare occasion for him so he must be getting soft in his old age he's giving us experience um he also gives us some starting gear here and we're going to go through all of this in a minute but we should probably find a safe place to park our butts and read because we shouldn't be doing this in the open so we got the backpack mod which is super duper and that is right there we're gonna plop that down and look at all that extra space we just have to punch it and put it on the old back and look at that isn't that fantastic love it now let's uh let's have a look around let's have a look around we got a desert over here which could be could be good could be bad deserts are super hot right let's go in the desert and just see how hot what is this little thing oh it's gone um oh look at that we got a village we got a village but keep your eyes open for that thing that just disappeared because i don't trust it oh did it come out of an anthill or something what do you oh there he is oh, oh, wow what is this guy is an ant guy uh is he friendly doesn't look friendly it's got bubbles oh ow i've been gooed uh run for the village <laughs> oh gosh we got poisoned already i've been here 14 seconds and we've got some rare shadow kin of the undying and everybody's trying to kill me already uh welcome to vex super hostile excuse me coming through more anthills let's avoid those and what are those what are these things see they have like special magic abilities some of them hey buddy can i uh, excuse me yeah just stay out there please don't even dare try to get in here <laughs> oh my gosh close the door oh it's not my door okay no one's coming in i don't want that guy to get in here either <laughs> okay well um so far so good it's like the Vex Super Hostile maps. Already running for my life. <laughs> and I've been here like two minutes. Anyway, let's get the rest of our starting gear and read about this mod pack. And we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get started on our survival and hopefully we can survive and not die. Although I have a feeling we're going to die much <laughs> and many. I think this mod pack is harder than RL Craft. Did I die in RL Craft? Maybe once or maybe twice, I don't recall. Um, but but when I tested this earlier, I died several times. So we have an atlas. That's great. So this is our um, guide, a map, sort of, right? It's a big old map right here. We've had this in, I believe it was Sevtech. It's fantastic. Well, look at the um, little, uh, the dust balls. Um, drift, what, what are those called again? <laughs> I'm in shock still from my, my anthill uh, encounter. Tumbleweeds. Yes, tumbleweeds. That's what they're called. It's getting hot in here, too. You see how my little temperature gauge down there is getting orange? It means it's going to get hot in here. And we might start taking damage if it gets too hot. So let's claim all of our supplies and we might have to run back to the hills. So this, we got bread. We got charcoal for the uh, canteen. We can filter it out and purify water. That's part of the tough as nails mod. So again, uh, Vex is being really, really generous here. And there's got to be some trick to it. I don't trust Vex. Oh, we're getting hot. We're getting hot. We're flaming. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, well, at least we have some tools. We have all the tools. We've got a couple of weapons here. Um, let's get organized, and we're going to make a run for the hills. <laughs> oh, this is getting crazy already. Now, we can only use wooden weapons and tools. Oh, hot wall. Okay, uh, we got to go. We got to go. We got to make a run for it. Is that thing out here? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, there he is. Hi. Just passing through. Oh, this is one of those, uh, yeah, stones. One of those stones. Um, teleporting things. Waypoints. All right, let's get up to the cool weather. Hi, deer. We've got reindeer here. They seem friendly. Probably tastes good, too. All right, we safe. Oh, my gosh, this guy's coming. Dude, really? Dude, I have a sword now, bro. He's got an axe, but I think we can win this battle. Oh, yeah. Ah! He's not the fancy one with the fancy farts coming out of his backside. That other guy. Those bubbling fools, they have some kind of magic ability. So this mod pack, um, there's a lot of magic and mythology. It's kind of a fantasy, medieval thing. We've got the warfare pack in here even, right? So we can make siege engines. We can even have like our own city um, and attack other cities as factions at war or something like that. I'm not really sure of all how it all works, but we're going to have to take a look at that. We're going to get all the guidebooks in a second here. Yeah, these trees, by the way, you're chopping the, at the bottom and you get the whole dang thing. <laughs> Just like so. That is fantastic. All right, this seems like a relatively safe place to be. It's cool, right? At least we're not burning to death, but we might freeze to death up here. Just trying to find, like, a decent little place. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's okay. This is, this is a griffin. I think they're neutral. Um, I think. I don't know. There's that Valkyrie. Oh, Hi! Fancy meeting you here, dwarf. Dwarves are friendly for the most part. I mean, they're a little belligerent and smelly and stubborn, but um, they won't attack us. Right, buddy? Good. All right. This looks like we can make a little house right here, in fact. And we can overlook the... We can look down at the valley below, and we can cool off up here and warm up down in the desert. <laughs> so I want to get underground, but I'm going to bring some uh, wood with us. We're going to make a little hidey hole. And we'll move in, and then we can read all of our guidebooks that Vex has given us, and we can get more prepared to survive here. I don't want to die. If we can do this without dying, that would be tremendous. I doubt it, though. We should probably get some food, too. Let's put that... What's that? Here, B. Are there bees here? Do they sting? Uh, anyway, let's just get away from the bee, then. Let's go down here, and we're going to kill the deer. Do you bite? You do anything. You explode. You have bubbles. No magic ability. You're just a deer. You're just a good old regular old deer that we can kill for meats. <laughs> Thank goodness. Just a normal old deer. Use my... Oh, it's... Oh, Rudolph! It's got a red nose. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rudolph. No Christmas this year. Oh, what did he drop? Antlers. Oh, and they're dropping... Um, they're dropping leather, too. Nice. Fantastic. All right, let's grab a couple of pumpkins. We can bring them underground as well. Can make some pies and cool masks and so far so so good i mean this isn't too bad yet the desert seems like it's pretty trade wow it's valkyrie is she nice i don't know let's eat some bread i think the health here we have like extra health but um we can lose it if we die Oop, that's the wrong book get rid of that book let's bring this book down here uh where's the hell oh what's this Ooh, claim a random weapon from the Spartan weaponry. Oh, that's nice. A, a wooden rapier. Oh, it's my favorite. I love that weapon from Spartan. It's a good one. Not the wooden one, though. It's not going to last very long. But we can only use the wooden one right now. Because we don't have uh, we don't have the ability to use stone. We have to level up. All right, let's check that book again. Uh, I think we... Yeah, right here. All the guidebooks. Right, here's all the books of all the different mods. Um, we don't really care about that one. Yeah, this is what we want. The XP. So, J.E.I. We know how to use J.E.I. And we'll read about that later. <laughs> Video and RAM settings. Vex even goes um, far enough to tell you how to set up your uh, your launcher to get more memory. So the mod pack runs more smoothly. Here's the, here's the scaling health, right? So when you kill creatures, sometimes they drop those little crystals. And you can craft them into... Hi. Yeah. I feel like I'm being watched. Or judged or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can craft them into heart containers, and then you can increase your 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 health. Um, I'm not sure if this Valkyrie is nice. I mean, she looks tough. 
Got nice armor and everything. I'm not even going to bother. I have a feeling she's not too nice, but let's just, let's just get close. It's good to know our neighbors. She seems fine. Hi, ma'am. Do you mind if we move in right here? I'm just going to... Whoa. What's she doing? She seems smoky. I think she's getting angry. She's smoking. Okay. I think that means, like, just get away, dude. <laughs> get away, peasant. <laughs> I will slaughter you. <laughs> I think that's what that means, but we're going to we're gonna test that theory. We're going in the hole. Building a hole here. Let's see what happens. All right, yeah, this is going to be a nice little cave. An ooga booga cave. Ooga booga. Perfect. And this, we'll spend the night here. As long as it doesn't get too cold. I guess we can get a fire going, right? We do have the ability. Can we mine stone? Oh, we can. Oh, we're, welcome to the Stone Age. Ooga booga, like I said. <laughs> Fantastic. It's going to get a little dark in here, though. Um, I wonder if it's going to be too cold up here. Maybe we should go a little lower. Uh, yeah, the elevation definitely has an effect on the uh, the heat and the temperature. Oh my gosh, sea serpent. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? There's a little orc goblin or something and a skeleton. Um, you know what? It's getting dark. We should just find a place. <laughs> Alright, never mind. And I don't want to be over by that Valkyrie. I have a feeling she is not as friendly as she seems. This looks good. How about like, all right, like, you know what? We can't, we can't be choosy. Let's just go. Oh, stone. I'm gonna make a cave right here, overlooking the desert valley below, and this will be perfectly fine. And we get a good stone here too. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can get that. What is it? Well, maybe I can get it. Um, you know what? I don't think I can. Let's not break that. I think that's copper. So let's go this way, and let's put up a torch. I, I'm pretty sure we can get... I think we get torches from our training, our Vex training. <laughs> let's have a look at that right now. Let's block that off so we can be safe, relatively speaking. Uh, yeah, so let's check out the gear. We have purified water. Again, tough as nails, right? We have to purify our drinking water. We have cool... Oh, goo packs, the cool ones. Right, that's going to keep us cool in the heat and these goo packs heat will keep us warm in the cold yes and here's the heating uh the lighting rather we have torches we have a wooden lantern and we have scrolls yeah so there's magic in this it's apparently a really good magic mod oh i just heard something out there and we have magical scrolls i think those are light scrolls let's try one right now Oh, it's hot. No, it's hot. Ah, my hands burst into flames. Well, at least I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> what the heck happened? Um, wait, did it, it didn't even do anything. Let's try another one. Oh, it is light. It's candlelight. That was weird. But yes, I literally set myself on fire with that spell. I'm new at it, okay? Give me a break. Now, we have a lot of stuff. Let's put the... Oh, no. That's not how you do that. We need an empty hand. Put the backpack down. Actually, we don't have to put the backpack down. We just press B. Yes, look at that. All right, let's just chuck all the stuff in here that we don't need to carry in our in our inventory here. We'll get to it later. Something weird going on out there. I hear some kind of noise. Oh, it's getting cold in here. Yes, the temperature's dropping. We need to get a fire. Let's make up a stone pickaxe. Can we do that? I don't think we can use it yet because we don't have the right skill, but I think we can... We can skill up. Let's try. Oh, upgrade. No, we can't. See, yeah, we have to put some points into mining. So we have to level up. We need level th four? What did that say? Oh, there we go. That's fine. All right. Now we're talking. Let's make a little hidey hole here. We're going to put a fire down and warm up with the fire. It's going to be nice and cozy. We'll spend the night here. <laughs> Let's make a little chimney. Oh, what is that? It's like some kind of cobble. I don't like the look of that. Is it some kind of crypt or something? Don't want to break anything that I can't identify. Um, let's get the campfire going. There is a campfire. Yep, right here. Camp. There we go. Campfire. I had done this already <laughs> in my testing, as you can see there in my inventory. Um, now, let's split it up. And we do ooga booga. Ooga booga. It worked. Look at that, huh? Fantastic. All right. See, I remember... I remember how to do this. You never forget your caveman skills. It's in our blood, right? DNA. I'm gonna expand this out a little bit. Seems a little tight. 
And now, let's have a look at this guidebook. What else do we have? We have a boat, free boat. Wow. Oh, oh, we finished the whole chapter. Very nice. We got a new reward. Potion of water breathing. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't need that stuff right now. We'll put it in the backpack. And let's take a look at the general mod pack information. Death buffs and debuffs. So when you die, it's bad, but you can respawn. But a banshee would be left behind, making your death pile, uh, recovering your death pile, much more fun, interesting, and enjoyable. Sure. Okay. Uh, we got a few things here. Uh, skull head, memento mori, item frame, and a gravestone. Interesting. And known issues. Um, it's going to load slower in the nether when you first generate the nether and also around the warfare cities and what's this then best practices yeah make sure you back up your files when you update ftb quests and i'm just going to go through all of these so there's optional mods on a website there you can check that out if you want we're not going to go do that i just want the experience so there's a couple of uh optional mods on vex's website and we got the little elven ears which you can put right here and then that adorable <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you out there. There's definitely something out there. I can hear him really, really well now. Uh, where's my, where's my purify Wawa? Let's have some Wawa. Yes, I do remember this Wawa all too well. We dealt with this in Man vs. Minecraft. Hopefully, the water uh, rain barrel thing works. It did not work in Man vs. Minecraft. Hopefully, it works here. We could also drink the rain just by looking up. And uh, opening your mouth. I don't think that worked either. I'm gonna put the headstone out here just cuz. I think it'd be fun. We got a little head, we got the gravestone, and we have an item frame. Little Mori. Little Mori. Let's put Mori over here. This looks like a good Mori death site. Right? Yeah. Here lies Mori. Can you. Oh! Well, that doesn't look good. Can you not put the item frame on this thing? Hmm. How about the skull? Where'd the skull go? <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> it's a little backwards, but, well, it's just going to have to do. <laughs> I'll keep the item frame. All right, let's get a torch out front. So this kind of starts off as normal Minecraft, but, but it's hot, anything but. Oh, well, that's a dwarf. Okay, see, he seems... Uh, oh, it's not a dwarf. Who's that? Hi. It's a wi uh, Hey! Wizard! You just invaded my home, bro. Whoa! You're shooting something at me. Why would you do that? What are you? Oh, Sprout. Hi. He's, you're adorable. I wonder if I can eat that thing. Oh, it's a goblin! Okay. Wow, things went sour fast. I just said. What did I just say? Starts out like a regular Minecraft. Then it turns into running and screaming for your life. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? What is this bubbly fubbly thing? Oh, um, okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay, nope. <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> Get in the water. I see the sea serpent. I see the sea serpent. We're going to be okay. We have a boat. Thanks to Vex. Get the boat in the water. Quick. Get in the boat. Okay. Well, then. Um, I think we're okay. I think we're okay for now. Just stay away from the sea serpent. And we can just go explore. Um, you know, via water. <laughs> we're safe. Oh my gosh, we had a wizard break into the house, and then the goblins came, and some bubbly fubbly thing over there. Uh, maybe we just read right here. Let's just read right here. Keep your eyes on the shoreline. What is that thing? It's a little pink. Oh, it's a brain slime. What is a brain slime? I don't know. It's nice and warm here. Look at this. We got the coral reef. Oh, it's so beautiful. Whoa, who that? Yikes. Go. Don't shoot my boat, bro. He shoots the bow, it's over. Uh, shoots the boat, it's over. He's a hopping little feller. I don't know what he's doing, though. Hold on. Oh, he died. Oh! Whoa! That's a sea serpent! I don't know what killed that thing. It was either the brain slime or the serpent, but I'm, get I'm getting out of here. Sun's coming up. Serpent's freaking out over there. This looks nice. <laughs> this looks nice. Okay. It's very foggy. Let's go check. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. I think we're going to live right here. Seems like the perfect place. <laughs> we got cows. Regular old cows. Hi, cows. Don't mind me. Could use some meat. And some leather. Maybe we can make some leather armor. 
I'm gonna find out. Did they not drop leather in this game? In this mod? There's a lot of cows here. Oh, there we go. There's the leather. All right. Well, unfortunately, we had to abandon our home. Um, but this might be better here, right? Do we have stone? Yeah. Let's make a workbench, and we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna make our stone tools. Make an axe, and we need a shovel, and we're gonna need a sword because this um, this sword is just about ready to pop. Okay, so now we have all the stone stuff. Now, can we even use the stone without upgrading? I think we need to upgrade the sword to level 4 to even use it. Should be good now. Hiya! Yes. Very, very nice. We got some meats. And can we pick berries? Can I pick berries? <laughs> Okay, let's uh, upgrade our gathering. And now we pick berries? Oh, yeah, we can pick berries. Oh, there's one of those crazy ant hills. Yeah, I think the ants pop out of those things. So let's make a shield. Can we make a shield? Pretty sure we can make shields in this game. Oh, this mod? Yes, right here. Uh, we're going to need more, more wood. Golf clap and everything. I love it. I'm going to make a, this shield right here, and then the round shield. Can we make that one yet? Oh, no. Not even close. Get out of here. We need uh, this one right here. It's just stone. Yeah. Okay. Now we can take on some ants, I believe. Let's eat first. Maybe we should cook up some meat while we're here. Got a little beef. A little beef action. Um. Oh. Boy, we don't really have any... We're going to make some coal, don't we? All right, we'll just use that for now. I'm going to go check these little things out. What do you guys have? Little filters? Oh, th wait, these guys steal things. They steal things. I don't know if they steal from us. But sometimes they'll steal from other creatures. Oh, yeah, it's an ant. How do we get rid of that anthill? I think we're going to destroy the anthill. You like that, did you? Oh, this swings fast. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, the block. Oh, what'd you drop? All kinds of good stuff. Honeydew? Ooh. I'm gonna drink that. Mmm. Oh, it gave me some kind of little speed or something. Oh, gosh. Who's this guy? Stormchoke Rust. Wow! Hey, yikes! What the heck? Okay, see? These fancy guys? Not a big fan of the fancy guys. Let's get out of here. He's got some kind of lightning attack. All right. We'll abandon that home now. I have a feeling we're going to abandon many homes. Who's drowning me? Now somebody's drowning me? Why is somebody drowning me? Oh, what the? What the? Get out of the... <laughs> I died! Struck by lightning, I was drowning, and then I got stuck by... Stuck by lightning. And there's our banshee. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's respawn. What do we keep? Oh, we kept some things. And we get super speed. <gasps> oh, we get a boost when you die. Yeah, I think that was in the guidebook. Did we get to that part in the guidebook? Yeah, we did. <laughs> So I lost some of our special... Oh, that's what killed us. The Sea Serpent. Wow. All right, well, we're going to just run right past him. And where is my... Wait, did the Sea Serpent do that? I'm, I'm not sure who choked us out like that. Somebody choked us out. I think it was the Serpent. What is this? Slime? Wait, where? where is my... Where's my death pile? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Oh, there's a little house right there. Maybe we can move in. What is this? Zombie flesh. Yeah, there's a little house. I think we're going to go move into that little house. But yeah, so our first death on day one. This is what's going to happen. You poke an anthill and you get killed by some crazy ant. Is he still around? Where did I die? Uh, can I recover my stuff? Still got my backpack, but I lost everything else. Maybe it's out in the water? Do I have to make a boat? Something sm like um, drowned me <laughs> somehow. How does that even happen? All right, well, I'm going to have to get some wood. Make a new boat and see if we can go find 
my uh, my stuff. I think it's at the bottom of the water, bottom of the ocean. Timber. Ooh, silkworm egg. Those are good. Yeah, I don't know how I suffocated. Was there something on my head? Something like that I didn't see? I'm gonna have to watch the video to figure that out. That was pretty weird. All right. Um. I want to make a boat, right? Yeah, let's make a boat. Let's make a boat. Get back out here and get my stuff. Going for my stuff. Don't know where it went. I don't want to run into the same thing that was out there. It killed me though. Let's just switch views. I still got my bunny, my uh, my elf ears. Oh wait, I see. I see some experience. Is that my stuff? Apparently, there's no headstone left behind. Cause I don't see a headstone. All right, I just went back and watched the video of my death, the kill cam. <laughs> And it was that ant that killed me. He had some kind of special power of suffocation or something. And it was right... I died right around here. So I'm not sure what happens to your stuff. I guess you lose it all? That seems weird. I didn't realize that was a thing. But I don't see a... Uh, what is that? Satyrus? Is she nice, ma'am? Have you seen my stuff? Oh, it's, it's a satire. Right. Sat satire? Is that how you say that? Is that how you say that? <laughs> Ma'am, I lost my stuff. Can you help? You got any free stuff for me, please? Anything? She seems kind of nice, too. Um, anyway, I think we got to call it quits right here for the first episode. And we shall return. And hopefully, I'll have my stuff back. If I don't have my stuff that I lost, then... Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a filch. See? They steal things. Look at that little guy. And I am dying of thirst. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right, I lost all my purification stuff. Ugh. Drink it up. It's not the tastiest, but it's better than nothing. And that guy's carrying, like, looks like iron. Hey, drop it. Drop it, you little thief. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> That's why they call them filch. They're filching in this one, too. I don't know where they get it, but give it, give it up, buddy. It's still alive. What is that? Oh, man, this place is crazy. Uh... Yeah, so let's call it quits right here. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and we shall return, and hopefully we can survive the Vex Super Hostile Mod Pack. So far, so good. Well, no, we died once. All right, so the count is one, so I'm going to keep count. Once, once isn't too bad, I don't think. Right? Oh, there's, there's some steak here, oh, thankfully. All right, let's fill up the belly at least, and then we're going to work on our hydration. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it a day. We'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Look at that swing. Dang, that's impressive. Too bad it couldn't save me from suffocating. <laughs>